I'm David Lawrence. Uh, I'm an illustrator and recently uh, I've done some designs for the Royal Mint. The brief one gets from the Royal Mint is sometimes enticingly sparse and cryptic. Sometimes think I'll never manage to come up with anything, but somehow it comes together. It's a process of research, sketching, bringing elements together, and yeah, surprisingly, things do come together. When I first tackled the, the design for the Waterloo coin, my first thoughts would have, uh, it, um, the obvious thoughts anyone would have, would be to have Wellington, Napoleon, a broken cannon, a helmet, a shield, a sword, the very obvious things. And there's nothing wrong with that. What we have is uh, Wellington uh, shaking hands with Blücher. It's 10 o'clock in the evening uh, of the 18th of June. They've been at battle uh, since 10 o'clock in the morning and it's just about dusk. There's a few skirmishes going on in the background and over a third of the combatants lie dead. 48,000 men have been killed in the past 10 to 12 hours. They met almost by chance and shook hands, but that shaking of hands actually is quite a key moment in European history. It works as a design for many reasons. First of all, it fits more maybe with the current idea of European harmony and peace, also with the 50th anniversary of the VE Day. It's quite opposite, I guess. But also, it was the end of 20 years of war. It was uh, the end of the battle. But it was the beginning of quite a long period of stability and growth and peace in most of Europe. The design was based on a painting by Daniel MacLeese, which was in the House of Lords. Absolutely vast, 45 feet long by 14 feet high. It showed this key moment in European history. Obviously at the time, 40 years after the battle, it was, it was painted because it was regarded as a key moment in the growth of British prosperity. Maybe the handshake signifies thanks, relief, and unity. And uh, yes, peace was imposed on Europe. Uh, the thing about the permanence of a coin or a medal is it, they mark key moments in history. They are entered into collections and they will be seen for a long time to come. When you design a coin, it has to be translated by a sculptor. One has to look through a sculptor's eyes. And I've done a fair amount of um, sculpting as well, so that probably helps. Um, the painting by Daniel MacLeese is it's a pretty striking image. So once it was decided to use that image, translating the painting into uh, a drawing usable by a sculptor was relatively easy. Wellington is wearing the very characteristically shaped uh, garter star on his uh, jacket. Uh, and actually Waterloo is quite a, a key moment in the history of uh, medals and uh, the Royal Mint, in that it was the first time that a medal was awarded to every soldier. And on each medal, uh, the name of the soldier was uh, stamped on the edge. A coin for the Royal Mint is a, is a permanent artefact. If you go to a museum, you'll see famous coins, obscure coins, historical coins. They're all done by artists like myself, all considered and of the moment. These coins are going to be around for, a, well, beyond humanity. Maybe they'll be dug up in archaeological form. Who knows? Um, I always feel they're very serious. Not serious, but to be taken seriously.